Hi, today I'm going to try and help you learn how to add and subtract positive and negative integers using integer chips. First, positive numbers are all the numbers on a number line that go to the right. These are numbers that you've known since the first and second grade. You just count them one, two, three, four. But negative numbers are on the opposite side of the number line. And these numbers go from negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. 0 is what divides the positive and negative numbers. 0 doesn't have any sign. It's not positive or negative. It's just nothing. Okay, let's give this a try. First, we're going to be adding integers. Here I have a 3. And because there's no sign in front of that 3 being positive or negative, I know it's a positive 3. So I put down 3 integer chips. And I'm going to add 2 positive integer chips to that. And together, I'm going to have 5 positive integer chips. Next one. I'm going to start with 2 positive chips. And I'm going to add on one negative chip. Well, here you can see that I have a positive along with a negative. And think about this. If you have one and you take one away, you have zero. These two together are called a zero pair because together they equal zero. They cancel each other out. And what do I have left? One positive. Now I'm going to start with three negative chips. And I'm going to add on to that one negative chip. There are no zero pairs, so what do I have all together? I have four negative chips. Now I'm going to start with three negatives again. I'm going to add on to that two positives. I see some zero pairs here. A negative with a positive equals zero. They go away. Another negative, another positive, that's a zero pair. And what am I left with? One negative. Let's try it again. I'm going to start out with five positives. I don't see a positive sign in front of that five. But there's an invisible one. I need to know that it's there. There's no sign. It's positive. I'm going to add on six negatives. I see a lot of zero pairs there. And I'm going to get rid of all of them. And what am I left with? I'm left with one negative. I start out with three negatives. I'm going to add on four negatives. No zero pairs there. And I have a total of seven negatives. I'm going to start out with three negatives. I'm going to add on four. There's no sign in front of that four, so I know there's an invisible positive sign. And now I'm going to get rid of my zero pairs. And what am I left with? I'm left with a positive one. Here's my problem. I'm going to start out with a positive four. I'm going to add on a two. I know it's positive. There's no sign in front of it. There's an invisible positive sign. And together, combined, they equal six positives. Okay, now's where it gets harder. And as always, it always does get harder. This is where you start subtracting. Let's give this a try. It's a little different. Okay, I'm going to start out with three positives. And with subtraction, you have to take this amount, and from this amount, you have to take away two negatives. Well, I don't see two negatives to take away, but I can put two negatives there 
as long as I put it there as a zero pair. This does not change the value of the three. If you take three and you add on zero and another zero, it's still three. So I have not changed that I'm starting out with three. But now I put on negative uh, zero pairs so that I can take away two of the negatives. I can take that one away now and I can take this one away and now I have five positives. So three minus a negative two equals a positive five. Let's try that one again. Another subtraction problem. I start out with three. We know that's positive. And I'm going to subtract or take away two. And this two are two positives. Well, that's easy enough to do. I have two positives to take away. There's taking away one. There's taking away two. What am I left with? I'm left with a positive one. I'm going to start out with negative three. From this, I'm going to try and take away two positives. Do you see two positives? I don't either. But I can put two positives there as long as I combine it with a negative so it's zero pairs. There's one and there's two. I haven't changed the value of negative three because negative three plus zero plus zero is still negative three. But now I have the two positives to take away. There goes one and there goes the other. And what do I have left? I have five negatives. I start out with four negatives. I'm going to take away three positives. I know there's an invisible positive sign there because I don't see it. Do you see three positives for me to take away? I don't either. I'm going to add them on, but I have to add them on as zero pairs. I now see three positives to take away. There's one. There's one. And there's one. And what am I left with? Negative seven. I'm going to start out with five negatives. From this amount, I have to take away one positive. I don't see any positives. I have to put a positive on there. I'm going to do it by adding a zero pair. I haven't changed the value of negative five, but now I have a positive that I can take away. There it goes. What am I left with? Six negatives. I'm going to start out with four positives. From those positives, I'm going to take away one negative. I don't have any negatives, but I can add a negative as long as a positive goes with it. That's a zero pair, because four plus zero is still four. Now, from this four, I'm going to take away a negative. And what am I left with? Positive five. Okay, this is the last one. I'm going to start with one positive. I'm going to take away three positives. Well, I only see one. How can I get two more there? I'm going to add zero pairs. If I add that zero pair, now I have two positives. If I add another zero pair, don't I have three positives now? And doesn't all of this still equal one? One plus zero plus zero is still one, but now I can take away this three positives. One, two, three. And what am I left with? The two negatives. You did it. Good job.
I suggest you try this again, maybe at home or another time, so that you get it really, really understand it. Good job.